I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Check it out guys, this just came in the door, the ISDT D2 Duo Charger. I've been waiting for this so long now, probably six months since it was rumored from ISDT to come out. Everybody's been talking about it and here it is. I haven't even opened up the box yet, but let's go ahead and get a razor blade or something and just, uh, let's just get this box open and find out what this charger is all about. Okay, okay, besides from dual charging ports on here, what does it do? Well, it charges up to 200 watts and 10 amps. Not bad, and from 1 to 6 S batteries and most FPV racers and quadcopter flyers, uh, you guys don't need anything really more than 6 S. I don't know anybody that flies 7 and 8 S batteries. Uh, AC input from 100 to 240 volts, so hey, Europe, America, you're all good for the D2. And there it is, guys. Oh, nope, that's not it. Another revolution starts right here. Okay, we'll look at that later. Let's look at the D2. Wow, this is actually a lot bigger, a lot bigger. Look at the size of this. Now this is my 16,000 milliamp battery. So check this out side by side here, crank up the camera. So yeah, that's a pretty big, substantial charger. I'm gonna have to weigh this for you guys. Let's check out the ports on here first. We got a mini, uh, no, that's a USB port right there. That's good for charging your phone or USB device from 5 volt up to 2 amps. And then you have your computer port right there as well for upgrades, uh, firmware updates. You have a jog wheel on the front, just like we had on the Q6 and the SC620 and the SC608. Very similar. Ah, we have two fans back here on the back for charging and uh, cooling both charging ports there. And this uh, standard plug for, oh, plug. Did I just say plug? Yes, I did. Let's look in this box here. Interesting. Did they, let's see here, what's in this? Is this an AC wall adapter? Ah, so this is going to be, oh, and it's a US version too. This is gonna be sitting on the bench. This is not for taking out in the field. Unless you have an inverter, this one's going to be a shop charger. Uh, man, I was hoping for something like this with two ports on it. You know what I mean? That's what I was kind of looking for. Now, this is still cool because I, I, I think that it's nice to have two ports on here, but I was really you know looking for portability for this. You know what I mean? There's a vent on the bottom here. You got some nice rubber feet on each side, but I guess they're looking to move into the market uh, of, of kind of a bench charger, and that's what this one's gonna be. And you know what? You can charge a lot more than two batteries with this charger, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this to the side. I've got a 4S battery here, and I have my balance port here charging port uh, this will charge up to six batteries at once this is nice because you can plug in two of these and as long as you don't exceed your uh, watt 200 watts on here you can charge plenty of batteries so we'll just go ahead and plug that into one of these ports and this is going to extend the amount of batteries that you can charge so you can charge up to 12 batteries at once that's that's quite a bit of batteries going at once guys all right, there it is. I just plugged it in. Let me do that again so you guys can see what the load up screen looks like. Unplug it. Plug it back in and there it is. Let me move in a little closer. It's doing this all so professionally. Um, so the D2 smart charger, it has dual screens on there. So the cool thing about this is, guys, that you can actually charge uh, two types of battery. One type over here, say you have like a 2S battery, 
for a smaller quadcopter and you have maybe a 4S over here for your race quad. Uh, pretty cool because I can go ahead, it wants me to select channel one or two. You have a button down here that says one, two. If I press one on this side, that's where my balance plug and charge port is over here. So it goes to that screen and now I'm on channel one, which is this side right here. Uh, so I can go ahead, let me do it again. And so it times out and goes back to the dual screen. So if you don't hit that quick enough, we're gonna go to 4S there and change your cell count, your voltage. One, 420 is perfect. You can change the type of LiPo, LIHV, which would be your, that would be your high voltage. Standard LiPo, what's it, Li, Lion, uh, LIFE, PB, and nickel metal cadmium. So we'll leave it on LiPo. You can also do a different task, discharge or storage charge. So you can store charge things that you're gonna have laying around your house for a long time. I always store charge my stuff. And current setting we have set to one amp. You can go all the way up to 10 amp, but I don't recommend that on a 4S battery. So we'll go to, we'll just do a standard two amp right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this battery into the 4S balance port and the XT60 on that first one right there. And I'll go ahead and say start task. And now we're charging. So it's showing me current voltage of each cell and it's also balance charging. I do have my board balance plug in there and it switches to the dual screen. That's kind of cool. I didn't do anything and it actually switched over to the dual screen. So now I could select channel two and if I grab another battery, I can plug that one into this port directly or I can use another balance board on this side. Uh, if I let it sit there for a second, it's actually gonna go back to the dual screen just like that. Okay, so that one's all done. So what if I wanna charge my Tiny Whoop batteries uh, on the other port over here? I went ahead and used this little multi-charger port there and I'll plug this into where the XC60 port is. And now I can select channel two and I can go to 1S here and I can say LiPo, yes, and the current voltage setting, 1.5 or 0.5 amps. We're not gonna balance charge because we're only charging one S over here. And now if I press two again, it'll go back to that split screen. And if I press one again, I can actually get this one just to charge real quick and show you what it looks like while both are charging. Press that one again and it goes back to the split screen. So you have all your information on there. You've got which you have a LiPo, a four cell LiPo on that side and one S is displayed there. It shows you how much is left in the tank. We, we don't have any more to put in there because that one's already charged and it's up to 16.8 volt. And most of the cells look like they're an averaging 4.20. So that's pretty good. Uh, and over here on the right hand side, we have one S see four milliamp is being put into the battery at this point point right now and voltage is at four volts pretty cool so that one's done that one was already charged up before so and these should be done shortly and i can go back to this full screen here and i can go back in i can adjust the current uh, i can stop it or i can go back to that main screen and if I want to, it's kind of nice. I can have my iPhone charging over here on this port for the USB. I just got a new iPhone 7, so that will come in handy. Pretty cool. So this battery is all done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that one off. Now those are charging, but say I want to get to the system menu. How do I get to the system menu for the charger itself? If I long press right here, it'll actually stop that in progress. So I can go ahead and press long press again, and it'll actually take me into the system settings. You can't get to the system settings while you have batteries charging. Uh, that's kind of a safety feature, I guess. We can change the backlight from high, middle to low there. I like it on high. I can also turn off that annoying beep, which is kind of cool. It kind of lets you know that you made a selection though. That's kind of nice. Completion tone, if you want it to repeat, you can also turn that to single. Repeat is probably the safest way to go here because it's if you're walking away from the charger and you don't hear it, it'll do it again. Uh, split display is set to automatic and that's kind of cool or you can do it manually. The language is English. I'm sure there's a variety of other languages in there. Let's just double check. Whoa, it looks like a lot of stuff in there. We have German, French, looks like Chinese, possibly Japanese, and firmware sharing. 
it's not going to plug in right now because we have the computer is not hooked up. Now system information, it should tell me the actual firmware that's on this ISDT D2. System self-checking, we have that to on. Just do a quick diagnostic check if you click that. Now it's asking us to remove the battery on channel 2. So we're going to just go ahead and unplug those. Okay. Now we'll do that again. So no errors in the charger. That's nice. It has a little system check there. And we'll go back to the main screen. Now I'll go ahead and do a way off for you guys. Let's start with the D2, and I'm sure the D2 is up there. It's uh, 557 grams. Now let's switch over to pounds, and let's show you how many pounds it is. 1.2 pounds. Not too bad. It's actually a little less than I expected. So we'll go back over to grams, and I'll just take these little plugs off the Q6. My favorite out of the bunch, and I'll weigh that one, 125 grams. SC620, the largest one of the group that are portable, well, it's 280 grams for this SC620. And then the first one that I ever got was the SC608 150 watt charger, and that one's 109. So 109, 125. 281 and the star of the show today the D2 is 558 grams now just a quick rundown of all these really quickly the SC608 is 150 watt this one is 300 watt for the Q6 the D2 is 200 watt and the biggest wattage of them all that can handle the most wattage is the SC620 which is 500 watt so the D2 looks like it's set up to be pretty versatile. I think this is kind of cool because I can mix and swap up and uh, have a, several different types of batteries charging at once. I can use my, my balance board here to charge at six on this side and uh, maybe I do just a solo battery on this side or I can even use that um, board for my 1S and my larger JST uh, s plugs there for my uh, tiny whoop that I just got from Rack and Heli actually has these on there and these larger ones. So uh, not as much of a a, a voltage bottleneck like these have so uh, nice battery the ones that have the larger ones if you're doing tiny whoop now these other chargers over here I have these just to show you guys this is the uh, original one that I got this is the SC608 and this is a 150 watt charger uh, and the cool thing about this one is it does have that power input here right there and that allows me to charge in the field so I can hook this up but it does not have something that plugs into the wall like the D2 does uh, and it only has one charge port but it's super portable now on the flip side my favorite one of these three uh, portable ones is probably the Q6 this is my go-to charger I'm grabbing this one if I go out and I grab my 16 milliamp 16,000 milliamp battery 4S battery and I plug it into this guy right here and then I can charge multiple 4S batteries in the field this is a rock solid charger this one has not given me any problems I've had other people tell me they've been through a couple of them uh, they may have had one brown out but this has been really reliable for me now my other charger that I have over here to show you is actually the SC620 and that's a 500 watt charger this one will do um, uh, I think it was like 14 amps or something it's huge huge fan in the back it'll accept 9 to 30 volt on this so you could pretty much run a 5s battery on this uh, you can get way up there with the voltages on this one now on the bottom of this I don't know if this tells me but this one's just straight up like I said before 100 to 240 volts so uh, <laughs> quite a power difference on the D2 versus these other ones and let's see if it says on the bottom of that one it doesn't but I'll put links down below if you guys want to check out the specs of these um, and go into it a little more in detail for yourself but this has been one of my most reliable ones this year that I could recommend uh, but you can make up 
different leads for uh, depending on which type of battery you want to charge. This is a lead I made up for an, an XT30 there. It's that little tiny one. I use a lot of these on my micros. And then I have like a little hub sand style connector here and that just plugs in. And uh, mostly that's for like 1S batteries. And I get this little balance for my tiny whoops. So um, I can charge literally any batteries out in the field uh, or now here on the bench, which is really, really nice, the D2. So check it out for yourself in the link below. And uh, glad I could show you this one today. I'm super excited this box came in. So cool. The D2. Hey guys, thanks for watching this little demo of the D2. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.